Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back. A new video was released and it's looking at signs of the Prophet Muhammad that came true. This looks like it's a 2022 edition, an update, or it could also mean that there's some signs that actually came true also in 2022. Either way, we're going to find out what this video is all about right now. The Prophet wasallam says, towards the end of time, men from my nation will come who will be on conveyances, on rides, on rides which yeah. resemble the, you know, I don't know if you've seen it, on the camels in the olden days, they used to have like a little hawdah, like a little room they used to put for women to ride in. So the Prophet said, it resembles that, it resembles an enclosed space. And then the next word of the hadith, it uses the word to depict the comforts of home. So it will be enclosed like the hawla and it will have the comforts of home. A bit like your cars or limousines, you know, there's drinks there, there's comfortable seating there you can lie down, you can rest normally on a horse you couldn't. If you look at the caravans, you can go to the toilet. But I'm not concluding because tomorrow something else might come and it might be a better reflection of the word of the Rasul. So he says they will drive or use these kind of transportation and they will come to the masajid, to the doors of the masajid. Yet their women will be kasiyatin ariyat. The Muslims will be dressed yet undressed, covered yet uncovered. They will walk seductively in a way to attract attention, to arouse desires and they will attract as in men and also attract as in women in the sense that women will follow their lead. They will want to dress like that, walk like that, talk like that. You see it happening, don't you? I read research, a young girl, a young teen sees 3000 advertisements per day in America. When I say advertisements, your head's thinking a TV ad. That's just one. When you're driving, you see billboards, it's an advertisement. A pop-up comes on your screen, it's an advertisement. On your phone, it's an advertisement. So they count 3,000 times a day. It is bashed in the head of that young, innocent girl to dress like this, walk like this, talk like this. 3,000 times a day. Can you imagine the pressure on that young teenage girl who looks at herself and looks at the billboard? Can you imagine her anxiety, the lack of confidence in herself, comparing herself 3,000 times to an airbrushed photo or photoshopped picture of a model who is far away from the reality of creation. Clothing will be very tight or it will be see-through or there will be cuts and slits around the sides and so on and so forth so that although it pretends it doesn't show what shows. And the Prophet said that they will not smell the fragrance of Jannah, although it could be smelled the distance of so, you know, kadha wa kadha. Although the smell of Jannah can come from so far, yet these people will be made forbidden for them is that smell, that fragrance of Jannah. And the question, why the prophecies? Why did the Rasul tell you? Number one is to increase your Iman, that's a given. But second, so that you can take strategic steps to save your own. All right, FTD fam. If you guys have been following my channel, you'll see that I did react to the longer form of this video. So this was pretty much just an excerpt from a longer video that I had already reacted to. So this wasn't my first time seeing it. Some of you, it's probably not your first time seeing it. Or maybe if you haven't seen that video, this is probably your first time seeing this. Either way, it's an opportunity to talk about this topic again. Now, it led with the prophecy or the pr pr prediction of the future events that people are gonna be traveling in these uh, like enclosed spaces and it's almost as if it's describing a car. And I know the speaker did say that they're not drawing any conclusions about this. So that would be, you know, a little bit dangerous to do but also something could come later that more accurately reflects what the Prophet Muhammad said. This is according to the speaker of this video. 
So again, I'll ask the question, do you think that this is a direct prophecy about people driving in cars? I mean, it could be, you know, and uh, Islam is filled with statements like this where, you know, you can look and say like, wow, those words reflect this in modern days. And as a speaker in this video said, it's there to help boost and increase your faith in the religion. And if Muhammad was a prophet who got his direct revelation from God and was speaking of God, of course, he's, he's not going to get anything wrong. And this is a test that Muslims use as of identifying a prophet. So it's not necessarily clear that, yes, this is a car, but it kind of does sound like it to me anyways, you know, traveling in an enclosed space and whatnot. It, it, it could mean many other things, but uh, the closest depiction currently in modern times would be that of a vehicle. It could be like a limousine or, or any other type of car or or vehicle. Now, the next part of the video talked about uh, women and they're gonna be dressed but undressed and, you know, clothed but not really clothed. And of course we see this everywhere in the world. Now, yeah, that could be a problem for somebody who is uh, a Muslim. You know, your faith is gonna be tested because there is a lot of pressure, especially on women, to look a certain way and dress a certain way based on the society that you live in. So really to overcome that pressure, because it's gonna be there, you're gonna feel that pressure. To really overcome that pressure, you really just gotta stay tuned with your religion and be okay to stand out and be different for the sake of your religion. Because in the end, if a Muslim woman believes that Islam is the right path and 100% believes that Islam says, no, women should dress a certain way and be a certain way, then you're better off sticking to that because that's what your religion teaches. So might as well stick to that. All power to you. And I don't think any woman should be forced to, to dress uh, a certain way, even though advertisements may be there and uh, pop-ups might be seen. You know, no woman should be pressured from anybody to dress a certain way or have to look a certain way because that's really unfair that's just one ideal being imposed on women and if that ideal out there exists and women want to follow that sure okay but if you feel it goes against your religion you know it, you're best off sticking to your religion and i 100 percent support that standpoint so that's my two cents on this guys thanks for watching and maybe thanks for watching again if this is your second time watching me react to this video this was a short form though but i'm curious to know your thoughts and comments once again down below thanks for hanging out with me give that like button some love and i'll catch you in the next one later